guys. I just wanted to kind of go over this. Um, this is the Weeble S. This is a gimbal, I guess they say hybrid. Uh, we're investing a little bit into the channel so we can make better quality videos. And I just kind of wanted to go over this because this is the first gimbal that I ever used and I thought you guys might like to see what we're going to be using when filming this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and kind of show you guys what comes with it. So I'm just gonna start opening this. me those scissors. Okay. So the packaging is quite quite sturdy on this. This is uh, not exactly the easiest to open, but that's that's good. Okay, nothing else in there, so I'll toss that out of the way. Looks like this is just taped up somehow. Is this just shrink packaging and I'm just overthinking it? Oh well. It's really nice though. I'm looking at it. That's absolutely hilarious. So first impressions of this, um, this is a very, very nice setup. This is far fancier than anything I've owned film equipment wise. Um, there's a lot to it, so honestly, I'm probably going to have to read a good amount of the instructions before I mess with this stuff. From what I understand, like if you have like a DSL or mirrorless camera that you're filming with, this is going to be able to help support the lens. I'm not exactly sure though, so don't quote me on that. Uh, this is really cool. So you can either on this attach this to the base right here. Or if you want to get some low shots, you can also attach it right here. Whenever you're filming, you can hold it like this. So I thought that was pretty cool whenever I was looking up some other reviews of people that have used this. Okay, so I'm just going to read the instructions real quick on how to appropriately use this. And then I'm going to get this set up and show you guys it, it with the phone on it. Okay guys, I just wanted to get back with you guys about the Weeble S. Um, so this, this uh, gimbal isn't really for phones. It's mainly for mirrorless cameras. Uh, I think it's DSLR cameras as well. I'm not sure if that's the correct phrasing, but we ended up having to go get a camera. We went with a Canon M50 Mark II, I think. And uh, it films pretty good. This is kind of what it looks like when it's assembled. It's pretty solid. If you guys want to see me setting this up or you guys want to know how to work it from my perspective, just let me know. But uh, I'm going to roll to some shots of me actually using this camera on the car, some things in my backyard, and maybe, maybe even my dog.
Hey everyone, we just kind of want to show you some of the uh, equipment that we're going to be using while filming our videos. We're constantly finding ways to improve the content of what we film and we just want to keep moving forward with that. The next video you guys will probably end up seeing is the engine bay getting prepped for paint. With that said, there's not really much else I have for this. So I'll see you guys next time on The Daily Z.